Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about something that's been on my mind lately and it's been cyber bullies. There's groups of people out there that like to diss on other people regardless of whatever it is. And they love to, since they have a fan base, I'm not gonna name any names because legally I can't name any names, but there's a group of people, there's multiple groups of people that go out and they pick certain people to, to hate on, and then they go out and just start blasting, blasting people with hate. And it's it sucks. And if you've been on YouTube, if you've been on social media, then you know that this is a very prevalent thing. This isn't anything new. Um, I've experienced it in the past, but now I'm experiencing it in a whole different light. And I just really wanna know like, what are we gonna be able to do about cyberbullying in 2020? What are we gonna be able to do? Because obviously it, there's people that are hurting in their life, or maybe they stand up for a cause, and they want people to know their pain, they want them to feel their pain, and they want to project it on other people. Now, that's just like the psychology behind what's actually going on. Yeah, I know that's what's going on. People are miserable with their lives, and. They don't know how to make it better. And I feel like, you know, it's easy for everyone to spread positivity and stuff, but when you really look at the underbelly of what's going on and how many people are being affected by this, like, it's insane. It's insane. Like, there are so many cyber bullies that are, that are in high school, that are in middle school, that are going and targeting people in the school because of videos that get leaked on Snapchat or videos that were on TikTok, and literally there are teenage people that are taking their own life because of cyber bullying. And there's nothing in place. There's nothing in place on YouTube, there's nothing in place on Instagram, even the schools, the cyber bullying that's going on in the schools, the schools can't do anything about. There's nothing. And it's, it's a real shame. You know, people make fun of me because of my tattoos. They make fun of me because of I'm a motivational speaker and that I speak to people and that I try to relate to them when they're doing the worst in life. I want to uplift them. I don't want to hear myself talk. I don't care. I'm just literally trying to talk about issues that people are going through in life and I want to make a difference. I wanted to post this video because I don't know who's going to listen to it. I don't, I'm not sure who's gonna view it because I'm not out here looking for views, I'm just looking for answers. Are we, as, have we as a society really gotten to the point where we go online and we take out our problems in our own life on other people? What we're doing is spreading the hate. You wanna talk about coronavirus being spread, let's talk about the human interactions that we're having online behind anonymous mass people that aren't even showing their real names to go and hate on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram and it's not just America it's not just this is global this is happening worldwide why is there so much hate is it because people hate their jobs they hate their life I don't know everyone everyone's different I can't say but what I can say is how are we gonna stop this I'm asking you write a comment below tell me how can we stop people from doing this because it's horrible it's affecting lives I've been sick this last week due to an illness of cyberbullying. And it sounds stupid, but I've been literally, I haven't been able to eat because people literally, I haven't even been able to talk and, and to speak in my speeches. I have speeches that I need to do, but I feel like I'm not worthy enough because so many people are hating on me. And I didn't realize how big of a crisis this is online. And I'm not the only one dealing with that. But I want to make a difference. I want to make a change. And it's surprising how it's not just young people, it's old people, it's all people of all around the world that are doing this. And it hurts. And maybe I've cyber bullied in the past too. Maybe it just starts with you. Maybe you're watching this and Instead of putting that person down, try lifting them up. I think we can start with that.